guys, I wanted to do a quick tour of my SUV camper conversion. Uh, this is something that I worked on in February of this year and finished it in a few weeks. And it's um, pretty basic. It's something that I just drew up and um, thought would work the best for me and what that I would I want to use it for, uh, which would be uh, like my husband and I like to go down to South Padre Island and camp on the beach or something that we could take more off road um, to more remote spots if we want to. Or if I'm, if I'm traveling by myself, I have more of like a place that's kind of my home away from home, which is nice. And, um, you know, I can pull over to rest stops and feel like I have my own little room. <laughs> it's just, it's nice to have. And it's something I've been interested in for about a year and a half or so. I watched a lot of videos of other people's conversions. And just a disclaimer, mine is definitely not as fancy as some of those that I've seen out there. Um, you know, this is just the beginning of what I put together and I plan on just adding more things to it uh, with time. So this is just the basic build that I did. Um, I don't have any of the electronics that I hope to have in the future. All that money is going towards hiking the Pacific Crest Trail this year, which is why most of you follow me. But um, I had a lot of people that were interested in seeing my build. So let's just make it quick and I will show you what I put together. All right, so let's do a quick tour of the inside here. So this is the entryway that goes into the side here. And um, yes, I know I have a white carpet and it's probably gonna get dirty pretty quickly, but I'm not really that worried about it. It's an $8 carpet that I can change out. And it's also washable, um, but I'm not too worried about that. It's nice and comfortable. And then I have a bath mat here that we can put down as well if we need to, or we can just roll that carpeting back if it's really muddy and, and wet outside. Um, this bin behind the driver's seat is just a convenience bin. It's got our trash can and I have a lid for that as well. And we have our toiletry bag here, which has everything we need for our stool slash toilet. And that'll come in really handy if we don't have a restroom that we can get to. Um, and then I also have this uh, semi-transparent fabric here which is basically just a privacy curtain that I can put up here in a pinch if I don't want to put up the uh, blackout curtains and say I'm just parked somewhere um, and I just want to let some light in but I still want some privacy then I'll just put that up. It goes up quick and easy with Velcro. And let's see, behind this bin, I don't want to move all this stuff or not, but um, I have this indoor outdoor carpet and that can be put down here at the uh, entryway wherever we're camped so that we can wipe our feet off before coming in. And then up underneath the uh, seat here is where I put um, the car jack and jumper cables and tools. Um, I have a folding saw and um, just a couple other items um, that I would need um, probably not very often. So I just keep them tucked up there and out of the way. A little hand shovel, that's right. And then up underneath here in my storage area let me just show you real quick. We've got our wardrobe bags that slide in and out. And this table down here, or this little um, piece of wood down here is a tabletop actually that we can bring out and put on top of this bin if we wanna create a table right here. So I custom fit it to that. So it gives us a nice, and it, it sits in place um, solid so it doesn't slide around. Um, but I keep that stored up underneath there and then that way we have a tabletop or I have like a little desktop if I want to work and so behind my stool over here um, Let's get this up out of the way See I've got lots of storage space up and underneath here that I can put things over here I keep my reflectix for the windows It's not a ton of space, but we really have enough space for everything that we're going to be using it for for sure and now let's go inside here so i can show you our inside storage so when i was designing this i wanted to um i wanted to have the ship lap feel that was in here so this is actually a wallpaper and then i just um i did some uh painting on the sides of it to blend in the two together so it looks thicker like actual wood and let me show you on the sides here trying to take advantage of extra space that i had against the sides i created these hatches on both sides and you can see i've got a ton of extra sto storage space back here and 
probably never even going to ever fill those up, which is great. But that would be really nice for things like maybe an extra tent or warm clothing, uh, just things that you don't use as often or need to get to as often. And then over on this side here, yeah, I've got this one as well. And I put reflectics up on the window so that it would uh, stay relatively climate controlled back there. I know it's still going to get hot, but that I think will definitely help. Um, so back here, behind it also, I wanted to be able to access this area. So this allows me to get back here and slide things in and out that I need to. But this right, this right here is the uh, leg that goes to my slide out table in the back that I'll show you in a minute. So I have room back there as well. All right, so back here on this side, we have a curtain as well. And you can see that goes way back there. And here's my trekking pole that I'm taking on the Pacific Crest Trail. Oh yeah, lots of space. So this is set up as a single bed right now or the daytime use. It's just going to look kind of like a living room with an L sectional couch. <laughs> uh, but that's going to be the main bed over there for me. And then when my husband is with me, uh, this converts to a double bed. So uh, this seating area becomes the platform on that side. And then um, I have this cut to just the right height where this is a platform for um, this upper area. And then I also have a um, cut piece of wood that's just the right height with an L bracket on it that slips on right here that supports it as well. So it's, it's definitely really solid and it's just there and it's on hinges and it folds this direction towards us. So it becomes a double bed in here when we need it to. But most of the time it's just going to be me, but when my husband's with me, for sure, you know, we definitely have plenty of space for our beds. But during the day, it's always going to be in this um, setup so that we have room to get inside here and, and hang out if we want to. Here's the passenger view. So underneath the bed platform here, you can see our wardrobe bags. And then behind there, let's see if we can get back here, there's bunch of storage space up underneath there that we can easily slip some items that we probably don't need to get to readily all the time but that's definitely a good spot to keep something like a tent or other things like that and then back here behind the passenger seat I don't know if it's focusing here but you can see my repair kit that fits up underneath the seat really well and then we've got this huge open space so I wanted to keep that as like a for extra water jugs um, or extra food if we need it. I have the big pantry in the back, but you know, if we're going on an extended trip and we just need some extra room, that's a good space to put it. And then I also plan on having like a laundry sack back here for our dirty clothes. So we can put our dirty clothes in there and keep them isolated from everything else. And then I've got my pop-up tent here. Oh, let's see here. Oh boy. We've got our portable pop-up it's not poo, it's pod. Portable pop-up pod. Obviously that's <laughs> for privacy. If we'd like to use it as a restroom, I do have my portable toilet. Uh, we can use it for our shower um, and we can also use it just for dressing. So that's convenient to have if we need it. Really all this just depends on where we're camping and all that. Um, and then these are just some extra uh, screens that fit on the windows uh, if we just wanted like quick privacy. I just had extras of those. So I thought I would bring those along because they're nice and handy. And then up here, my curtains, so I can totally black out uh, the vehicle from the front if I would like to. And I designed it to where I have the Velcro going over the top so I can just, um, I cut it so there's extra fabric here so I can just attach it up there with the Velcro. So that works out really well. And that's pretty much it for this side. I have a little cup holder there. And in the front console here, we have a really large compartment. And I plan on keeping um, the first aid kit, medications up in here. Uh, that goes down really far in there, but you can't see it. So we'll be able to store a lot more items up here in the front as well. So here's the kitchen area. So obviously this is the cooler. Uh, this slides out easily and gives us access to part of our pantry down here, which holds a lot of um, dehydrated meals 
or other things that we would like to put down there. So there's a lot of food down there. I have my, um, this reusable bag here if I need it to go to, into the store. Um, and then up here, this is the compartment that opens up to the inside. And so I just keep foods here that we, we, we would want um, if we were inside the truck. Um, plus it's just a good place to keep bread, fresh fruits and veggies, and then also some snack bar type items. Over on this side, we've got our utensils, um, matches, just some various things, clothespins, things like that in there. And then just, yeah, some spices and packets of olive oil, mayo packets, um, a lot of tuna packets inside here. And then in here, I've got ever important coffee packets. And what else do I have in there? Oh yeah, electrolytes, and I've got my crystal light packets, peanut butter, all that good stuff. And then down here will be for uh, water, obviously, <laughs> and other drinks. And um, I can fit up to about nine of these gallons back here if I really want to. Um, but if I need more space um, for food and for water, I left enough space behind the um, passenger side uh, compartment area in the back so that I can always put overflow in there if needed. So down here besides um, my table, underneath there are things that we don't use as often like uh, maybe some baggies and then I also have my jet boil down there. Um, I have, what else do I have down there? just things that you know we don't need as often oh yeah I have my kitchen stuff for cleaning which I can bring out here when we're set up for camp um, and then this table here pulls out to about 36 40 inches and then I have the the leg for this to hold it up um, I showed you guys was behind the wall on the side here in the back so it's really easy to just go grab that and then it sets up right here on the side and holds this table up And then up here, I keep our um, our light for the back. So when we pull into camp in the dark, we have some lighting back here to get things set up if we wanna cook or do anything back here in the kitchen. And then these um, lights can go up and around the back of the hatch here and it illuminates this whole back area uh, when we need it. So that's the kitchen area. It's not anything too fancy, but it works for what we need it for. And then here I've got some Bronner soap handy, some hand sanitizer and um, I think that's lotion. Yeah, I might want to label that one now because I've already forgot what it is, but. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. There's, you know, not a whole lot going on in here, but uh, I love the way that it came together and I really enjoy the space. It's nice and relaxing and I do enjoy coming in here to study every once in a while or just, it's kind of like a mobile she shed. <laughs> um, so basically that's it. I didn't get into like a lot of detail on how I built it it is very basic and even my mattress I just have a blow-up mattress and then an old couch cushion um, on the chair side oh what was I gonna say so let me know what you guys think about my build and if it's something that you would you would be interested in trying for yourself later on uh, anyway thank you so much for following along and I hope you enjoyed the video I would I will be putting out more PCT videos before I leave for the um, Pacific Rush Trail in just a few weeks. So stay tuned for that and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.